In this module, we will calculate the confidence interval for single mean when we assume that the population standard deviation is known. In order to develop an interval estimate of a population mean, the margin of error must be computed using either the, the population standard deviation sigma or the sample standard deviation s. Sigma is rarely known but often a good estimate can be obtained based on historical data or other information. We refer to such cases as sigma known cases though. But here in this module, we refer to such cases as the sigma known case. There is a one minus alpha probability that the value of a sample mean will provide a margin of error of z alpha by two sigma x bar or less. In this figure, we can see the sampling distribution of x bar being represented as a, as a normal curve because we understand that the sampling distribution of x, x bar is the normal. The green area shows that 1 minus alpha of all x bar values falls in this region which is actually z alpha by 2 sigma x bar on both sides of the mu and the blue area represents alpha by 2 region. Here if we have three various intervals, we may notice that x bar here is outside this interval. So this interval does not include mu or it, it will definitely, it, it will not include mu. Whereas this interval does include mu value in it. The interval mass estimate of single mean when sigma is known is given by x bar plus minus z alpha by 2 sigma over under root n where x bar is a sample mean 1 minus alpha is a confidence coefficient z alpha by 2 is a val is a z value providing an area of alpha by 2 in the upper tail of the standard normal probability distribution and sigma is the probability population standard deviation and n is the sample size here are the values of z alpha by 2 for the most commonly used confidence level which will be for 90% confidence level, the value of z alpha by 2 will be 1.645. For 95% confidence level, the value will be 1.96. And for 99% confidence level, it will be 2.576. Because 90% of all the interval constructed using x bar plus minus 1.645 sigma x bar will contain the population mean, hence we say we are 90% confident that the interval x bar plus minus 1.605 sigma bar includes the population mean mu. We say that this interval has been established at the 90% confidence interval. And the value 90 is referred to as the confidence coefficient. Let's take an example. When a, phys a physical therapist wished to estimate with 99% confidence the mean maximal strength of a particular muscle in certain group of individuals. He is willing to assume that strength scores are approximately normally distributed with a variance of 144. A sample of 15 subjects was obtained in the experiment that yielded a mean of 84.3. Hence, a z value corresponding to the confidence coefficient of 0 0.99 is found in the, the table given above is 2.58. This is our reliability coefficient. The standard error is sigma x bar which is sigma divided by under root n when sigma is the under root of the variance which is under root of 144 divided by square root of 15 hence it make it 3.0984 hence our 99% confidence interval of mu is given as 84.3 which is our point estimate of mean plus minus 2.58 which is the reliability coefficient and 3.0984 which is the standard error of mean. The lower confidence interval limit that we obtained is 76.3 and the upper confidence limit is 92.3. Hence we say that we are 99% confident that population mean is between 76.3 and 92.3. Since in repeated sampling, 99% of all the intervals that could be constructed in the manner just described would include the population mean. 
Population variance is usually unknown. Hence, we estimate the variance from the sample. In such situation, we use t-distribution to obtain an interval estimate of the population mean.